In December, I was tasked with heading out to the Baltics to catch up with the Queen's Royal Hussars Battle Group during their deployment to Estonia. Fellow video producer Matt and myself were heading out to make a video all about Operation Cabrit. That's the name of the UK operational deployment to Estonia, where British troops are leading a multinational battle group as part of the EFP. And EFP? Well, let's pause for a second. Enhance Forward Presence is a NATO operation spread across four member states. This means there's American troops in Poland, the Germans lead the mission in Lithuania, Canada heads up a multinational force in Latvia, while the UK is joined here in Estonia by a rotation of French, Danish, and of course, Estonian troops. The whole thing was set up in 2016, shortly after Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. I've just touched down in Estonia. I'm sat here in Freedom Square in Tallinn with Captain Dan Phillips. He's the press officer for Opkabrit out here in Estonia, and he is going to be my guide for this week. So Dan, it's my first time in Estonia. I'm a little bit nervous. What can I expect? Um, so we've got a whole program uh, lined up for you. So we're going to spend some time out on the area with the rifles, uh, yes. fall in for the next side. And also spend a bit of time here in town in the old town, um, seeing a bit of story and what it's like. I like the sound of that. Yeah, and cool. obviously you've got church, church in the background doing well. Yeah. yeah, nice bells. Well, I really appreciate you uh, having us out here and I can't wait to get going. Sure, thank Should you very much. See you I wanted to get a glimpse of some of the action on a major military exercise, as well as see the Brits put key skills into practice in adverse, often sub-zero conditions. The guys were all out on exercise, and so the only thing left to do was try and find them. The first thing you notice when you arrive on the training area is how truly multinational this operation is. Within minutes, we stumbled across Estonian troops and French Marines, who were preparing for the next stage of their exercise. For someone who's never been witness to a military exercise like this before, it's a pretty crazy experience. There are literally tanks everywhere. There's a guy casually cutting about in a helicopter above us, and there's loads of dudes rocking white trousers. It's great. Now that we were in the training area, the only thing left to do was try and find the guys from the Queen's Royal Hussars Battle Group. Before long, we found ourselves driving down the kind of track you would only really want to drive down in a tank, but a hire car is also fine. We eventually caught up with some of the guys from Five Rifles. They're an armoured infantry battalion who form part of the wider Queen's Royal Hussars battle group out here on exercise at the moment. And this is a warrior. It's an infantry fighting vehicle, which I'm told is manned by a driver, a gunner and a commander and can carry up to seven fully equipped soldiers. Uh, so at the moment we're dug in a position uh, with our warrior. We've got a few parts out to the side there um, and we're just waiting for enemies to come and take over and then at that point we'll delay our moves back into a more defensive position. Cold out here today? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit cold, but get our feet moving and sorted. Good stuff, man, good stuff. So we've just had a quick chat with the marshals. We've heard that the Estonians are only about 2k up this way, so we're going to have a little drive along and see if we can uh, locate them and hopefully get some filming done with them. We're allies, but today the Brits would be playing the role of a defending force, while the Estonians attempt to mount an attack and break the British lines. No. Moments later, we came head to head with the Estonians. So we've just caught up with the Estonians on the other side. They've just all arrived in their armoured vehicles and they're preparing to cross over this forest going to breach onto the other side into that open space and on the other side of that is Trooper Coombs and uh, the rest of Five Rifles who we just spoke to. It took just five minutes alone in the woods with them to get me spooked. Today is an exercise but the threat they are training for is real.
If conflict were to break out in Eastern Europe, this is where it could happen. The patrol came to an end and the troops loaded back into their vehicles. All the Estonian infantry that we had been following have all just emerged from the bush from all different corners and they've all just got into their armoured vehicles now and you just get that sense that uh, something's about to go down. Stay tuned. This Estonian armour just taking it to the left there. That's directly into that big open space which five rifles have got locked down. Now we're starting to see flares get let off. We're seeing smoke over there from five rifles in the initial position. Flare in the sky there. And battle has commenced. Blink and you'll miss it. Now it looks like the battle's pretty much come to an end. All that waiting around, both sides have been planning their attacks and dug in for hours and hours. And then in an instant, it's all over. It had been really cool seeing some of the combat side of a military exercise, but I was getting curious. What does bedtime look like? Followed the guys back to a clearing they had chosen to spend the night at. Hurry up, you lot. I'll supervise them from up here. The smell of coffee, cigarettes, and diesel is soundtracked by the rumbling of engines and the exchange of late night stories. That's when I realised that these machines of war now become someone's home too. So it's day two on the exercise. Um, we've just caught up with five rifles, just followed them patrolling through the bush. And then we've cut ahead of them in the car because this is their objective right behind us. They're going to try and secure and hold this bridge. So we're just going to get into position now. Day two was a banger from start to finish. This time the Estonians would be defending while the Brits play the aggressors and mount an attack. We got up early and headed to an Estonian held bridge that was a key objective for the British troops. Oh, okay. So we have some, uh, some British How are you? Uh, you okay? Hello. Nice Hello, good morning. Hi. Ah, yes. I How mean, are you guys? You all right? All good? Okay. So, only one remark. Yeah. This is a very important position. Okay. So please, guys, hide behind. Hide away. Position. Yeah. We knew they were coming, we just didn't know when. It will take uh, hours when they, your guys will made it, made here. The British or the French? The Estonians yeah. lost a successful counterattack this way. So you think, I think gonna... now we're fucked here and so we have to... You think they're going to come this way? Yeah. Yeah, they will definitely go. We could hear gunshots ringing out so we decided to push forward into the trees to try and catch some of the action. Having a bit of a run through the woods. You can probably hear we're getting closer and closer to contact now. Then finally, I was in the right place at the right time. Five to six Estonians were holding this verge, but the Brits wanted it. Oh, 
It was pretty wild getting to see this kind of action up close and personal. What blows my mind is that this stuff is going on 365 days a year across the world. It never stops. Right lads, from these flan out to back, base side, push up forwards, yeah? Let's keep it up, good effort on that last position, let's go. Not just smoke. Yeah, go on mate. Go, 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 go. Once again, the guys patrolling through the forest. It's really tough terrain. on the ground, the temperature's hovering just above zero degrees, and these guys have already been out on exercise for five days now. So tiredness begins to kick in, and the cold is really something that it's important for them to get used to. We followed their advance through the trees, eventually linking back up with the armor. It was time to take that bridge. Enter the Challenger 2. This is the British Army's main battle tank. Please enjoy this short clip of it tearing up this tarmac. Eventually, the Estonian line was broken and the British armour began crossing the river. The rest of the armour is made across the bridge and they're going to move to a more advanced position and carry on taking the fight to the Estonians. The advance continued for miles, pushing the Estonians back and back into the night. Game over. The next day, I caught up with Lieutenant Colonel James Shan to get his perspective on how the exercise went down. He's the commanding officer of the Queen's Royal Hussars Battle Group out here in Estonia. The main difference with how we operate and how we train out here is the fact that it's A, a lot colder, and B, it's in woods and forests. So specifically what we've been learning from the Estonians is how to 
fight in the woods and forests and also live, survive and then fight in this, uh, in this cold climate. Uh, there's been a lot to learn, uh, it's been a very steep learning curve but the Estonians have really supported us well. Uh, so absolutely, you know, we, are, we fully support and uh, really enjoy being part of uh, the 1st Estonian Brigade, not just on exercise but also the wider opportunities which being out here in Estonia provides. Um, it's been a really good experience for everyone within the battle group. So while the British troops are primarily here to reassure our NATO allies, they also get the chance to take part in large-scale exercises such as this one. And when these guys move on, another battle group will rotate in and so on and so forth. A constant cycle of preparation and training. Opkabrit is now about to enter its seventh rotation of troops. But this relationship between Britain and Estonia is nothing new. On my last day, I attended a memorial service commemorating 101 years since the Baltic Naval Campaign. In the wake of World War I, the Royal Navy sent a squadron to the Baltic Sea to quell Russian aggression in the area and protect British interests. Now over a century on, it's a similar story. And Britain is back in the Baltics. And there we have it, end of an uh, incredible time in Estonia. Just made a quick dash back from the 101 year commemoration service of the Royal Navy in Estonia. That was a really nice way to end things. Really nice to see that these things are still remembered and that the, the bond between the, the UK and the Estonians has been going for some time now. I've got about 45 minutes to get through security, so I'm gonna to have to make a dash, but thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. That was one week with Opkabrit in Estonia.